All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. This is going to be a Dan Clips exclusive. Uh, since you are here in the channel, I will just tell you why I created Dan Clips. One is because some of my videos go pretty long, between 25 and 35 minutes. No one has the time to do that, so we break up into clips because time is money. And second of all, uh, I wanted to make sure that I have a backup in case YouTube you know, destroys my other channel and says, hey, you're out of here. At least I have a backup. So that is the two reasons. So for this exclusive clip, only a Dan Clips, there was a question by Jeffrey. And he asked, hey, Dan, I mistakenly sent Bitcoin from my Coinbase account to a Proton email I own rather than a Gmail account that's like linked to my blockchain wallet. I don't know how to get the Bitcoin from the Proton mail to a wallet, and I'm afraid to do anything without guidance. I've watched you for months, and I believe you can help me. Please help. Okay, so great news. Uh, you didn't lose it. It's just, you know, in your Proton Gmail account. And I asked, the question I asked Jeffrey was like, well, did you get an email from Coinbase to your Proton account? That's the first question. And he says, yes. And I tried sending it back, but that didn't work. So you can't send things back. It's in that, that, that account. Uh, so no. He goes, um, and I said, he said, you know, first he said, I'll give you a reward. Just help me. I'm like, I don't need, don't give me a reward. I don't, I'm fine. Uh, I said, look, I've sent uh, many, uh, a Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, whatever else uh, off of, Coinbase. I've sent it to a lot of different friends and family members, my niece being one of them. I uh, was paying her an XRP. Very fast, actually, I might add. And so she didn't have an account, but she had an email. And of course, with Coinbase, you can send your, your cryptocurrency anywhere to anybody as long as they have an email. And that's what we used. So well, of course, with that email address, she had to set up her own Coinbase account, and then it was transferred over. So no big deal. It's kind of like PayPal. But uh, also uh, in this situation, if there was a problem where like, for whatever reason, couldn't get him the email address or even though it's his and something happened, uh, this is right from Coinbase blog. It says, I sent funds to the wrong address. How do I get them back? And it states after 30 days, any cryptocurrency sent via email that has not been claimed by the recipient will be returned to the sender. If 30 days has passed and you have not received a refund, please contact us. And uh, this is just one of those things. So on that one, I said, don't worry about it because if you send it to a legit email and it's not fake, uh, then you can you know, put it right back. So he says he got it. There's a QR code and he scanned it. He's having problems, but he's gonna fix it. And the next thing I said was the best thing you can do right now is first of all, it's not lost. It's just, you know, in this, in this it's not in an email. Uh, the QR code is just there. First of all, um, Cryptocurrency digital assets do not live in emails. They do not live in your nano ledger. They are on a blockchain around a ton of different nodes throughout the world, all right? It's just a record. So we can get this back. And I said, uh, first thing you wanna do is reach out to Coinbase just to make sure that you're doing the right steps and then get a, get a response to them. They'll walk you through that. Second of all, uh, Coinbase customer service sucks. <laughs> just does. So uh, be prepared to wait like a week to three weeks for that. And I said, if you don't want to wait, which I don't blame you, what I've done, what other people have done, uh, is they, they go on Twitter and they reach out to Coinbase and they post a lot of things uh, for whatever Coinbase tweets and they put it right on that because nobody wants negative publicity. So if you're looking for a way to really get things done, uh, go on social media and bombard them with, not bombard them, you know what I mean? I mean, within reason, no one wants to be a jerk, but uh, just go there and do the same thing. Like, that's work for uh, Celsius. People have uh, tweeted to Alex Mashinsky, the CEO, and he got it done. Um, they've done the same thing with Voyager, where there was a problem. They tweeted uh, Stephen uh, Ehrlich, uh, the CEO, and he got it done. So here, uh, the same thing. I don't know if Brian Armstrong has an account, but it doesn't matter. Just go to Twitter, find the official Coinbase account, maybe find Brian Armstrong, and then just send them a message if, if, the uh, customer service route isn't working. You're waiting a little bit too long. So that's what I say. So that hopefully will answer everybody's question. Coinbase, you're not SOL, but on other platforms, if you send your cryptocurrency to the wrong address, if you send it to the wrong wallet, if you, or if you, if you send like Bitcoin to an Ethereum address, you're, it's gone. If you send Ethereum to a Chainlink address, it's gone. So don't make that mistake. And then lastly, Jeffrey has a good point. He says, I know you don't, might not be looking to add another business to your resume, but there's a huge hole in this industry, crypto advisor, problem solver. And uh, he's right. You know, as time goes on, um, crypto digital assets, there's going to be a big need for different um, holes or niches that need to be filled. And I think this is one of them. Uh, walking people through if they have a problem troubleshooting. I think it's, it's that one. 
helping small businesses out with uh, decentralized finance. That could be a second one. And also another one that I've seen a lot on my channel is when people say, hey, uh, when I pass away, I just hope that my family's taken care of or my wife knows where to do all this because they won't listen to me and I got a lot of money locked up. I think that is another industry that could be somebody who can actually walk or set things up for people before you know they get hit by a bus or they have a massive heart attack or something happens where they're taken or just they're gone and uh, their family's like hey didn't uh, you know dad have a ton of cryptocurrency uh, like over a hundred thousand maybe a million dollars how do we get that we don't know so all these things can be done I just think there's a uh, business out there so let me know what you think about that in the comment section and uh, that's it so yeah I'm sorry if, if you like these types of videos there's gonna be two more on your left and right so go ahead and check those out and uh, Dan Clip exclusive thanks so much for subscribing really appreciate it See you in the next one.